this is a model of square planar molecule which is ICL4-1 so as what you can see from the top view this molecule all atoms of this molecule on the same plane all right square planar molecule all right so now i'm going to find out the symmetry elements operation for this molecule all right the first symmetry elements i want to find out the rotation axis so the first axis is passing through the central atom which is the id in here so this axis we can rotate 360 degree of course and another rotation is we can rotate 90 degree here so it means that the axis is c4 axis and this molecule also can rotate 180 degree from here rotate to here we get the same configuration so on the same axis we can rotate c2 which is 180 degree okay so we just look at the starting point here so we rotate c4 and then we rotate 180 degree we will get the same configuration before and after right so it means that the axis passing through the central atom so how to label here so we just put the point here it means that this is the axis passing through the iodine so label as c1 of course and then it can be c2 and c4 right so this molecule also has another exist which is position here okay here so it means that this molecule rotate 180 degree through this axis and also here the molecule rotate through this axis 180 degree so it's just like this so you just imagine this molecule rotate 180 so we will get the same configuration all right so the axis also can be here for c2 axis so same this molecule rotate 180 degree we will get the same configuration and also here the molecule rotate through this axis 180 degree we will get the same configuration so it means that we can draw like this c2 also can be here parallel with the bond cl iodine cl and also here and also here so this one can be C1 as well. Alright. Okay. So it means that what we can see here, there are 5 C2 exists. 1 here, 1 here, here and here so 4 c2 and the fifth is here passing through the central atom all right so the main axis for this molecule is c4 all right so now we want to find out the reflection so we need to find out the internal mirror plane so because this is square planar molecule so all atoms on the same plane so it should be we can find out the plane that cutting through all atoms so chlorine 
chlorine, chlorine, iodine and also chlorine. So this plane cutting all atoms, the whole molecule. So it means that this plane is like this. So let's you just imagine that the plane cutting through all atoms. So reflect, we will get the same configuration. So this plane actually is perpendicular to the main axis C4. So this is this plane is known as horizontal plane. Alright. So we can draw like this. Label as sigma h. And then I notice that this molecule has another internal plane which is the plane that cutting through the bond. So here is so what you can see. Yes, cutting through the bond here which is the bond iodine Cl and iodine Cl here in the middle. So this plane parallel with the bond. So this plane parallel with the main axis here. So this is known as vertical plane. And also the plane also can cut here. So this also vertical plane because parallel with the main axis here. Alright. So the plane is parallel on the bond here. So we can draw like this. So this plane we can label as sigma v, sigma v. And then I find out another plane which is diagonal plane. So the diagonal plane or dihedral plane is here. Cutting through here. So the plane here. So let's say we the position like this. So the plane is cut through here. As what you can see this kind of plane cutting through the angle 90 degree 90 degree. Alright, and then this plane also parallel with the main axis. However, this plane bisect two fold axis. So that's why this plane is known as dihedral uh, or diagonal plane. Alright, so the plane also can be here. Yes, cutting two fold exist and also bisect the angle 90 degree so we can draw here the plane should be here so this is for the diagonal plane and here all right so we find out there are five internal planes for this molecule all right and then we want to find out the center of symmetry so because this molecule has a center atom so we put the center of symmetry here center of the atom sorry center yes center of the atom so we inverse chloride and chloride here through this center of atoms center of molecule so we can see that we will get the same configuration so this one chloride chloride over there so inverse through this center of symmetry we will get the same configuration so that's why this molecule has center of symmetry so center of symmetry equal to S2. So this molecule also has S2 symmetry elements operation. Alright, so because this molecule has C4, so we want to check this molecule has S4. So we try to check. First, we rotate at the C4 axis 90 degree. 
so we rotate and then we reflect so make sure this is the rotation exists so reflect make sure the plane is perpendicular to the axis so rotate and reflect yes we will get the same configuration because this plane cutting through all atoms we will get the same configuration so it means that this molecule has s4 symmetry elements operation so we want to list all the symmetry elements operation so this molecule has identity and also c1 c2 how many c2 just now we count 5 c2 and then this molecule has c4 mean exists all right and then plane this molecule has sigma h two vertical plane and two diagonal plane all right so that's all the symmetry elements operation for square planar molecule icl4 minus one